Today I have a big old bag of Marble King marbles. We're gonna bust open this bag, pull ourselves together, and explore the wonderful world of Marble King marbles. We're gonna identify the different styles and models that Marble King produced. Enjoy. So here we go, we're gonna name Marble Kings and we're gonna start out with the basics and work our way to the more obscure and bizarre. Most of these marbles are vintage, except for a few that I will point out. So the common, more common Marble King that you'll find are called rainbows. And here are three versions of the one colored ribbon rainbow. The green ones are often called grasshoppers. These are tricolored rainbows named for obvious reasons. And also, they will have a white base with three colored ribbons. Everybody should know this next one. This is the iconic Marble King Bumblebee, and it may be the most recognizable vintage marble ever made. It has a white base and black and yellow ribbons. And a little harder to find would be the Cub Scouts and the Girl Scouts. Cub Scouts would have this bold blue ribbon and the Girl Scout with the green on yellow. Sometimes you'll come across what collectors call Cato marbles. This is a Cato here. If you compare it to a Cub Scout, you'll notice that the blue ribbons are really more teal colored. These were named by Jerry Arnett. Here's a bunch in here that I'll just show you a few other examples. And they're very pretty marbles. That blue is a little unusual. Here's a couple more in here. And there's some Cub Scouts in the neighborhood here. Here they are side by side. Those are Kato's. Here comes the very handsome and popular Marble King Wasp, and it has black and red ribbons on a white base. Sometimes that red can be a little oranger, orangier. <laughs> I know I said that right. This is a tiger, and I really like the tigers. They often have um, combinations of yellow and a light orange. And here's a row of brilliantly colored tigers in here. These two jobs are called ruby bees and they look similar to tigers, but really there's no orange glass. It's yellow, red, and black. And that is ruby bee. Moving right along, we have rainbow red marbles. These are reasonably common marbles. They have a red ribbon going from seam to seam, paralleled by another color. So here's one with red and green. Here's with the black ribbon. There's with the blue. And this one has that Cato blue teal sort of a color. And on the sidebar, I am showing you examples of rainbow reds with a colored pole, and they, they're interesting to find. This first one is from the David Prothrow collection. It has a yellow pole, making it look a little more like a vitro yellow jacket. And here's one from the Rosie Bessonice collection with a pink pole. I think it's kind of a lightly veneered red glass. On the right here, we have more modern Marble Kings. These green ones up front are sometimes called Ninja Turtles by collectors or Gumby and Pokies. Here's an interesting one here. Almost looks like an acro at first glance. This one is sometimes called a beach ball. And here's a few others. This 
There's a wasp here with more of a translucent base right here. Whoop. And what is that one? Oh, that's a, uh, a more modern Spider-Man. So those are modern Marvel Kings. So let's move over to this tray. And here we find some more unique and exclusive rainbow examples. This first row has some nice varieties of oranges and browns. And I want to show the hard to find Copperhead model and the Jillian marble from the Jason Greer vault. Here come some bees. This one here is a little different. It has sort of a custard base to it. I think it might be modern. And as you look around this lot, you get a real feel for the vintage Marble King style and pattern. And what many and most of these have are the patch ribbon, ribbon and patch pattern. So that's very recognizable as a modern, uh, as a Marble King trait. These two here are translucent based bees. And here's a cup, here's one that's neat. It's a also translucent. That white is translucent. And you'll find some ox blood on some of these. And here we go with just varieties that here, these are called blended marbles, where you'll have the two colors or three colors just working in a blend. This is a blended watermelon type here. I believe these are more modern ones, the, these two here. Moving right along, we have one of my favorite Marble Kings in my collection. This one is a hybrid. It has yellow, green, and black, thus making it a hybrid bee and hornet rainbow. And it's very pretty marble. Similarly, we have what collectors call hermaphrodites. And hermaphrodites are half Girl Scout and half Boy Scout. So they have the yellow and green along with the yellow and blue. And here's another example with a translucent base. These are exquisite marbles. Here's a few other examples. Here's one that has Cub Scout and B combinations of colors. So that would be considered a hybrid as well. These blue and black jobs are Hercules marbles. That's a very good example of an early Hercules right here. And this is more of a hybrid where you get some whites and other colors. Here's some hybrid Hercules types. And this one here is a more modern Hercules, so it's really almost just a patch. They are Hercules. These guys are called Irish, Marble King Irish marbles. So it has sort of a burnt red or brownish and a brilliant green color. I really like the Irish. This one has a, blue, a little blue in it. Here's where I think is more of a modern marble, similar to a golden boy. On the right are good examples of golden boy from the Jason Greer vault. Here's a couple of watermelons. This one may also be modern. This is a poor man's watermelon, sort of a patch, green and red for watermelon. Here's some really nice blended marbles here. These are 11 sixteenths. And this one here is nice. And 
And here we go. This one's just sick. <laughs> it, I don't know what, it's a hybrid and it's just a beautiful marble. It has wonderful purples and yellows and browns to it. Here's an awesome example of a dragonfly. If I can get that scene. And so the dragonfly has green and, and blue. These are hybrid dragonflies in this section here. And it's all blue and green and white. These are dragonflies. Up here are the Spider-Man marbles that they made. Some of these blends are fantastic. Look at that guy. At first glance, it could pass for a Christensen striped opaque. There's a bunch in here. And these are all Spider-Man. A lot of them have quite a bit of ox blood on some of these poles. You'll see it here. Here's a neat one too, huh? I don't know. It's just Spider-Man-ish. <laughs> and here's one with a black base. Very neat. The Here's three examples of very early St. Mary Spider-Man. And that is a six, these are six panel marbles, what collectors would say. And you'll notice a, a bright, brilliant orange on some of, uh, on these particular St. Mary's Marble Kings. Here's a good look at one. Here we have cookies and cream marbles. That's just an off-white, almost greenish tint to it. And here are some ho green hornets. This one I think is, is that even a Marble King? I don't know, I think it's modern. But I did have a really good example right here. That's a nice example of a green hornet. I'll have to get a, there we go. Green Hornet. Up here are, are the Marble King wasps. And unlike the Peltiers, they'll have a more of an orangey color to them. Here's one with more of a, of a true red or cherry red color. These three here, this, this, these are called Robins. And they have a light blue base with a red you'll see a red pole on them and some red ribbon work red and blue ribbon work those are robins these are reverse robins so they'll have blue poles with some red ribbon work going on in them they're very hard to find unless you live in west virginia <laughs> here's a few that i like these red and simple red and white ones and sometimes they'll have a op op opalescent, no, I mean, translucent base, right? And they're just sort of circus tent colored marbles. They're really fun. This is the Marble King Peacock with that teal and blue and green kind of pole to it. Some beautiful ribbon work in it. That's the Peacock. There's a yellow version. I'm gonna show you with the, uh, the David Prothro collection coming up. Speaking of David Prothro, this is a marble he names. <laughs> Celtic Tiger. So it has the tiger orange and black along with green ribbons and it's a beautiful marble. I've seen a few examples of it. This one is a hard to find marble. It's called a Sunrise. It has a brushed white base, almost like it wants to be a vitro. And then these beautiful oranges and yellows on, on the brush ribbon work. That is a Sunrise. And these are tournament sized Marble Kings. Over here on display are a bunch of shooters. These are generally 15 sixteenths 
in diameter. And here's some tigers. And that's a really nice looking Hercules blend. Some of these are modern, like that one. There's the Marble King logo. And some wasps, some blends. That is the hard to find, iconic, very pink shooter marble, named after the original owner, very pink. This one is fractured under the surface. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty beat down. Uh, I'm showing you a, a better example from the Rosie Bessie Nice collection. That is the Berry Pink Shooter. They also made some clear-based marbles. Here, here's a shooter that is clear-based. They had these in reds and oranges as well. Some nice blended ones. And these are shooters. On to a few cat's eyes. This is the St. Mary's cat's eye. One way to tell that you have a cat's eye that is a St. Mary's is if you look straight down the pole, you will see a plus sign construction. These are rather collectible. You'll see some of them will have two or even four color panels on them. And these are St. Mary's. I have a painted turtle here, which is a modern Marble King made a few years ago. It has a translucent blue base. There's other combinations of that. This one, I don't know what it is, but I think it's a Marble King. Maybe someone can tell me. I don't know. It's really neat looking. Not quite a cat's eye. But right up front here is a pixie cat's eye by Marble King, and it has beautiful, chunky flakes of aventurine in the base. Just sparkling. <laughs> and right up top, just for comparison, I have a few Asian cat's eyes. And they used a rather different color palette and construction. And so these are cat's eyes. Let's continue with a featured collection and a trip to Pflugerville, Texas to visit the David Prothrow Marble King Vault. David's been collecting Marble King for several years, and I think you'll enjoy the view. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exclusive tour of the David Prothrow Marble King Vault. And as you can see right off the bat, this is a first class collection. We're going to look at some of the shooters in the back here. There's the clear-based berry pink. Right here to the left of that shoot Marble King logo is a beautiful shooter with ox blood. No doubt many of these marbles are dug. And here comes the Celtic Tiger. front and center and just a wonderful array of beautiful marbles. Here's a golden boy. And folks, brace yourself for this next piece. This is a Marble King watermelon and Girl Scout hybrid rainbow. Just look at how dazzling those colors are together. This is quite a piece of art. I'm so glad to be able to share it with you. It is absolutely enchanting. And back in the display booth, we see more vibrant colored Marble King pieces. Here's a nice blended scout. And here are the peacocks, the pink and the yellow versions. More beautiful blended marbles. This is an awesome Hercules here. And this bizarre gecko marble.
There's a handsome clear boy. And just more beautiful blends, beautiful pieces. What a collection that is. Now let's cruise over to the printer's tray display, fully loaded with Marble King marbles. Here comes a beautiful hybrid with Eastern Bluebird colors. And here's a nice hermaphrodite. And this piece is a beautiful spider melon. You never see these. This is an excellent example. Here's a polar bear with translucent base and slightly purplish ribbons. More unique examples laid out like candy. Check out this anomaly. This is a Marble King metallic. And that is the David Prothro collection. And let's close out with some impressive Marble King group shots from collector Jason Greer. These are swirls that Marble King actually produced. And maybe you can identify what the rest of these are now after watching the video. And thank you, Jason, for rounding up these wonderful Marble King photos. I hope you enjoyed the Marble King video. I had a lot of fun making it and hope to do another one sometime soon. Thank you.